Rick was among the 80% of Americans who live with back pain each day. But when pain began to change how he lived his life, Rick knew it was time to seek help. Here's Rick's story. I just uh, was experiencing a lot of pain. I couldn't sleep at night. I'd have to put ice packs on my back. And I started noticing that my leg would fall asleep after sitting for a few minutes and the bottom of my foot felt like it was on fire. It was just a, a lot of pain in my lower back running down my right leg. I didn't have the confidence that I used to have because I was always pampering my back. So I was talking to my wife and she made me go see Dr. Thompson. He described all the symptoms that I was experiencing without me even telling him and he said you might want to get this taken care of before you had permanent damage. Rick came to me with this problem called spondylolisthesis. It's where one bone had slipped forward out of position on the other, crushing the nerves. So I talked to Rick about taking the pressure off the nerves, lining the bones back up, and then holding him there so he could rely on his back. Spondylolisthesis is a relatively common condition, certainly in my practice. It often leads to a great amount of pain, uh, dysfunction, and immobility of the spine. I couldn't be the kind of dad I wanted to be with my kids. I couldn't pick them up. I couldn't play in the backyard with them. I wanted to be able to teach them to play ball like I play ball. Rick's procedure involved really three main things. The first is taking all the pressure off of the nerves. The second is reestablishing the normal contours of the spine. And the third is making sure it doesn't happen again. I didn't want to miss out on doing the things that I, that I love to do. I wanted to do the road trips with my family. I wanted to play the ball games and I felt that back surgery would have put me out of commission for a long time. I didn't realize it was such a quick recovery. With less invasive techniques, spine surgery has become easier on the patient with a quicker recovery and they can get back to doing what they like much sooner. The field of spine surgery has come a long way in the last decade. A lot of the myths about wearing braces or being immobilized for long periods of time have been discounted. We know that we can get people up and get them going again and make them comfortable much more quickly. Back surgery today has evolved into a very focused, specialized field with the surgeons and non-surgeons providing the highest level of care, making sure the patient is the focus, making sure that the recovery is quick. I decided to come to Valley Medical Center for my practice after training because the group I joined shared the same values that I do, which is patient-centered care. The facilities are world-class and the patients are just a delight to take care of. They're just nice, normal people wanting to get better. They often come with a straightforward problem looking for a straightforward answer. One of the main reasons Rick came to me with this problem was at the prompting of his wife. She was the driving force behind me because she knew that I was suffering a lot and uh, she knew that I was lacking the confidence that I once had. Now that I'm free of back pain, I can do the things I love to do. Life is living pain-free. Valley Medical Center in Renton. Remarkable things happen here.